good morning good afternoon and good evening so i was getting a request to make a tutorial video to flash the lineage os rom the official on the galaxy note 10 plus the, the one that i have is the global variant rom is performing very nice perfectly working on the galaxy note 10 plus here is the control center or notification center that we can use for uh, like uh, turning on the flashlight or uh, turning off or turning on the bluetooth etc etc the device is not certified default the device is not coming certified so we have to manually or forcefully root the rom to make the device certified the safety net basic integrity is passed but cts profile match is failed now the thing is that if you want to make the cts profile match also pass then we have to root the mobile phone like installing the mages root uh, application with uh, the recovery and then we can uh, if, uh, install the modules to make the device certified the applications that you can see on my mobile phone straightly downloaded from the google play store the camera application is provided the aosp camera which is working fine and uh, the picture taking or video recording so the camera is providing 1080p with 30 fps and also we can record in the 4k resolution with 30 fps the front camera is also working fine those who like to have aosp rom those who love to have uh, good battery like using the mobile phone for browsing for using social media then this is the absolutely good rom for those so this was about the lean age os rom on the galaxy note 10 plus now how to flash the rom on this mobile phone for the galaxy note 10 plus you need to have an unlock bootloader to flash the recovery and to flash the lean age os rom you need to check the mobile phone battery must be charged like minimum to 30 percent or 50 60 70 then that is much better and you need to save all the internal storage data because the procedure of the flashing lean age os rom will format everything and then go to settings then to security privacy device and lock then turn off the lock screen password by selecting the swipe go to password and pass key then sync your google account once and remove it to avoid any issues later on now the important thing is your mobile phone galaxy note 10 plus must be updated once to the latest stock firmware in case if you are having any custom rom but your mobile phone was updated once to the stock firmware then you can flash the lineage lineage os rom and then it will also boot now uh, after doing all the things that i have mentioned you can simply power off the mobile phone here are the files uh, links provided in my video description you need to download these files and uh, i will provide the command converting the image file to tar file you can simply copy the command from the video description and paste it to the command window to turn this recovery.img into recovery.tar the lineage os rom the recovery and the vp meta these three files are supposed to download for flushing and then the mind the gaps for getting the google applications after flushing the rom file right do you, we can we need to download odin also uh, and platform tools latest version provided in my video description for like clicking the links and downloading these files right so first of all extract the odin then extract the platform tools folder and then copy the vpmeta.img file recovery.img file from here go to your extracted platform tools window folder paste both files over here and uh, copy the commands from the description i will open this window i will open this file to copy the command from here and i will go to my extracted folder of the platform tools and right click on cmd then left click on run as administrator click yes on next pop-up window and then i will bring back the uh, notepad and first i will copy this command to convert vbmeta image.tar copy the command from the description come back to the 
command window and press control V so the thing done you will see that no, no error the vbmeta.img file is converted to tar now once again go to the description copy the second command of the recovery from there and come to the command window press ctrl plus v and recovery also converted from dot img to dot tar now i will close this command if i re require the service i will open it once again we'll go back and you can see that i i have recovery.img and recovery.tar same i have vbmeta.img and vbmeta.tar now i can delete the recovery.img and vbmeta.img from the extracted folder of the platform tools and i will copy the tar file recovery.tar and vbmeta.tar from the extracted folder basically i will cut both files from here and I will go back to my downloaded folder and I will paste both files over here and I'm not going to delete the .img file .recovery.img file right now open the extracted folder of the Odin then double click the Odin file click OK on this pop-up window then on Odin click any slot I will go for the AP then I will go to my downloaded folder and I will select the recovery.tar by double clicking on it then I will click CP and I will double click the vbmeta.tar from my downloaded folder of the Galaxy Note 10 Plus Lean Edge OS. Double click the vbmeta.tar. Odin is ready. The mobile phone is supposed to be power off. We have to boot the mobile phone into Odin mode. Check the other side of this cable must be connected with computer. Press and hold the volume up key and volume down key. Press and hold the volume up key and volume down key. Just keep it pressed. Connect the cable with the mobile phone. In few seconds, you will see a warning screen. Release both keys. My mobile phone bootloader is already unlocked. On the warning screen, press the volume up key once to boot the mobile phone into Odin mode. Now, on the computer screen, the Odin detected the mobile phone this is the sign now on the Odin go to options and tick the auto reboot then go back to log and then click start to start flushing the recovery file when you see pass message means done click reset click exit go back to downloaded folder and coming back towards the mobile phone now the mobile mobile phone still booted into Odin mode we have to boot the mobile phone into lean edge os recovery now the trick is booting the mobile phone from Odin screen to t2 recovery is to press the volume up key volume down key and power key we need to press and hold all three keys when mobile phone restart first release the volume down key release the volume down key then when you see logo then release the power key okay and just wait do not release the volume up key one two three four and five so the recovery screen appears right this is the lean age os recovery according to the lean age os rom that you have or, or i have downloaded from the official website now on the recovery screen tap factory reset then tap factory format data then tap format data turn tap format cache partition yes turn then format system partition yes and then go back to main screen tap apply update tap apply from adb so the phone is put it into the side load mode on the computer screen now we have to copy the lean edge os rom file and mine the gaps file from the downloaded folder then uh, go to the extracted folder of the platform tools paste both files in this extracted folder when done then click on the rom file press f2 erase it just give a name rom it is supposed to be rom.zip press enter key then on the caps file click on it press f2 
erase the file name just give a name g a double p s the file is supposed to be like g a double p s dot z i p press enter key once again right click on the cmd then left click on run as administrator click yes on next pop-up window the command window will open now start flushing the rom file by giving the command atb space site load space rom.zip press enter key the file will start transferring to the mobile phone now it will take a time and at the same time it will start flushing also now we have to wait when flushing completed then you will see install completed with status 0 which means that flushing got done very perfectly now reboot the recovery by tapping advance then tap reboot to recovery we have to reboot the recovery to flush the gaps application okay once again tap apply update then tap apply from adb and on the computer screen the command window is already open type the command to flash the gaps file adb space site load space g a double p s dot z i p press enter key same thing will start the file is getting transferred to the mobile phone and it will also getting flash now we have to wait here once again Definitely the recovery will ask you signature verification failed install anyway so we have to tap yes. Okay caps file in flushing completed same thing install completed with status 0. Tap reboot system now and disconnect the cable from the mobile phone and also we are done from the computer. You can close the command window and if you want you can delete the extracted folder of the odin and plate farm tools so the mobile phone will stay on this logo screen for a little while then soon the mobile phone will start booting to the lean hos rom the first boot will take a little long time First boot completed, finally setup screen appears. Complete the setup screen. In case if you want to stick on the Lean HOS ROM, you want to take update and update should be installed, then you need to put a check sign update Lean H recovery alongside with the OS. Then tap next. Things done very smoothly. I got Lean HOS on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and I also got the Google Play Store. We'll go to settings then we'll go to about phone and we'll tap the Android 14 over here so you can see that Android version 14, Lean HOS version, the nightly version, same Android security update and basement version is provided build date and that this is the build number so do not forget to like the video we'll see you in my next video until then goodbye